talking with Ben Sporer, who's working with the Canadian national team preparing for the Olympics. Uh, ben, can you give us a little bit of an idea of what, what exactly is your job? What, how, how are you helping the uh, team prepare? Well, my role with the Canadian Cycling Association is as a physiologist with the team. And um, the primary thing with regards to the Beijing Olympics for mountain bike is to look at the demands and the challenges that can be placed on the riders and come up with strategies to help overcome those challenges. Uh, one of the other components is to look at the course itself and do a breakdown of the specifics on the course and look at how we can adapt that to training, adapt training to suit the, that course specifically. Okay, now you, you were in Beijing for the uh, Olympic course uh, pre-race, pre and can you give us some sort of an idea from based on what you saw there, what the uh, big challenges are going to be? Well, there's the two, the two main challenges specifically with, the, with regards to going to Beijing and racing are going to be environmental challenges, so pollution will be a challenge, um, and we all hope for a good blue sky day, uh, but unfortunately that may not happen, um, so it's best to be prepared and plan for the worst. Uh, hopefully we never have to use those or implement plans to ensure that pollution isn't, doesn't play a factor in the outcome of the event. The second thing would be heat management strategies. We're typically expecting temperatures in the mid-30s with high humidity for the competition. And we right now are implementing and looking at strategies to plan and practice these strategies prior to actually going to Beijing. So some of those will be individualized and some will be as a national team plan. Okay. Now, um, you, you just met with, with some members of the mountain bike national team talking about some of the analysis that you did and so on and I mean what sort of things um, do you expect you're going to be doing with, with the riders as we start to prepare for the games? It's a good question. I think there's, there's two ways of looking at it. One of the ways is to look at the overall plan with regards to the CCA and how the, the national team will approach the, the Beijing games and the second is to look at each individual rider and what their needs and, and uh, challenges will be for them specifically for that event and that course. Some riders <clears throat> may be more prone to pollution issues, so I may be working with them specifically on that. But I would say the majority of uh, my, Im my impact or my role with the riders is going to be look at how to individualize some of the training to meet the demands of that course, which are very unique and it's not your typical World Cup course, as well as dealing with the heat and the heat management strategy. So acclimation for the heat, looking at things such as hydration and sweat analysis and management, uh, pre-cooling strategies, uh, recovery strategies within the heat environment. Now, I, I was very impressed by when you were sitting there talking about some of the, the detail to which you've broken things down for the athletes to, to, to look as they move forward. Is this something new for, well, for cycling or for sport in Canada in general to be able to get this scientific and, and have these resources? It certainly is new. I mean, in the last couple of years, the momentum has been building for cycling specifically, and I'd say in the last year, we've really started to make a lot of the the, the groundwork uh, and lay that groundwork to have a, a system that can move forward, not only to these games, but to 2012 and 2016. Uh, a few of the things that we've been doing um, are specifically longer-term projects, but are providing us with information now. And this is from anything from race analysis down to long-term athlete monitoring and systems in place so that athletes have more information with their coaches to help support them. It's certainly new in cycling for Canada. I think there's a lot of coaches have been doing it on their own with uh, athletes and some to varying degrees between coaches and athletes. But as a systematic, systematic approach by the CCA to provide more support for the athletes, this is taking a bit of time but uh, in the evolution of it with regards to sports science but it's now getting to a stage where we can actually provide information back to the athletes that's useful for them. Okay. Now how is this going to make a difference for the athletes do, do you think like what is this going to allow them to do differently for Beijing as compared to say Athens or, or Sydney before that? I think there's two ways to look at that and the first way is to say it provides athletes with more information about the course. Um, I think we had an opportunity in this Olympic Games compared to Athens to actually be at the course, collect information on the course, collect information on the environment, the challenges that will be faced in Beijing as opposed to Athens where we didn't quite have that advantage. Uh, we also have dedicated staff and support personnel 
to work at breaking that down where traditionally that's been the coach or the athletes that had to do that themselves and focus on a variety of different factors. So the, the second thing is in a sense of providing the resources to follow up on some of that information. So if athletes find that a heat is an issue for them, we have the resources here as well as facilities where acclimation and analysis can be done on sweat, for example. We can break down whether or not someone's a high sodium sweater or a low sodium sweater or what their sweat rate really is or hydration. So we have those resources now that can actually deal with that. So on two different values, the information that feeds back to the athlete so they can make informed decisions um, rather than having to find that information themselves as a resource. And secondly, then to act on that resource when and if it's needed for support. I mean, is there anything that, that, that you'd like to sort of bring up in terms of what sort of stuff uh, you're, you're working on? In a sense of for cycling? Yeah. Well, I think, as you know, I work with all the different disciplines within cycling. Uh, we have a strong focus right now on mountain bike. Um, as this camp is all about the Olympic team for the mountain bike event. But we're also looking at establishing a system where athletes are able to better utilize resources and engage with, within the system to provide support to athletes. And that's the biggest thing that we've been working on over the last years is to try to enhance that relationship where the support is available to athletes on a regular ongoing basis as they need it as opposed to being, this is what you need to do, so to speak. Okay. Great. Well, thanks very much. My pleasure.